Hello everybody. Last time we saw how to install JMeter and do the Java settings as well as uh, we saw how to use Bad Boy to record our scripts. Today we will dig deeper into the elements of JMeter. Uh, so our today's agenda is given as under so we will first we will start jmeter we will see what test plan uh, is and what a workbench is uh, how to add a thread group how to add a http request sampler for every http request that we make we need to add a http request sampler so we will see how to do that and view results in table and view results in tree these are nothing but listeners listeners are the uh, elements that give us the result of our performance test so we will see all these six elements one by one we have our jmeter open now the first point was to start jmeter so we have started it now let's look at what a test plan is now here if you look into this notepad it says test plan is the one that contains test elements we will see what test elements are in a minute uh, uh, the second element is a workbench this stores elements on a temporary basis so that means if you want to do some debugging or some R&D then you can do it in workbench and later on transfer the elements to test plan as a final deliverable for the performance testing in this session we are going to explore uh, this site newtools.demo.com this is a site provided by uh, HP uh, as a free site it comes with uh, quick test professional but we can use it for any purpose so this is the site on which we will be doing our performance testing so moving ahead here we see our test plan and workbench are provided to us by default whenever you whenever we start uh, jmeter so we don't need to do anything uh, with those elements those are provided by the system itself so now let's see how to add a test thread group a thread group is nothing but uh, users uh, if you have studied uh, load runner you might be knowing what virtual users are that uh, if you want to do a performance test say so we need at least 100 to 150 users uh, as a group to do simultaneous testing on a website but doing that physically is not possible so that's that's why we use a uh, jmeter and the users are uh, are in the form of a thread group so let's see how to add a thread group these are our users we everything in jmeter is done by right click so if we uh, right click on uh, test plan then we see here threads and we see here a thread group so we go ahead and add a thread group we can rename this thread group as users what we see down here is uh, the action that has to be taken when a http sampler fails whether we need to continue with the test whether we need to start next thread loop whether we need to stop the thread uh, stop the test or stop the test right now stop the test is graceful stopping and stop test now is abrupt stopping coming to the thread properties we see here that the number of threads currently we have only one user that is specified um, so whenever you do any performance test it is always a good practice to uh, keep the number of users or number of threads as one uh, when we are writing a new test after we verify that the test is working fine we can increase the number of threads the ramp up period is nothing but to uh, simulate a real life scenario now, none of the users will all say you have 100 users so all 100 will not be logged on at the same time at the same moment they have some idle time in between so the first user logs in after that after three or four minutes the second user logs in after that after some time the third user logs in so on so this is uh, we have kept the ramp up period in seconds as one second 
the loop count is nothing but how many times an iteration will be run for each user so here we have one user and one uh, loop count so it will run for one time now let's see what's next in our plate so next thing we have to do is we uh, we have to add a request http request sampler so we right click on uh, users and we add a sampler we have many samplers over here uh, we will study each of these samplers one by one but the most frequently used is the http request sampler so let's go ahead with that if you see the http request sampler page here we have you can rename this like uh, you can say uh, home page sampler uh, here we need to provide the server name or ip so we provide new tours dot demo or dot com we don't need to provide any uh, port number the method is get we don't need to provide any uh, in the path though we can mention this so we are just going to the home page that's why there is nothing uh, in the path mentioned if we have a sub path that we need to navigate to then that will be mentioned in the path so we are just simulating a scenario in which many users are coming on the home page browsing the home page and going back that's all so when we save this it will ask us to save it so we save it as homepage.jmx now next thing we will see is after we add the users and the http sampler we need to know uh, the results of our performance test so uh, the two most frequently used are view results in table and view results in tree so let's go ahead and add those so these are nothing but listeners so both the listeners are added now we are ready to run our test so here we go let's run our test so bring your cursor to view results in table remember we have just one user and the loop count is one for now so let's run our test here we go so that's all the test runs fine as you can see from the status the sample time that has been taken is 1132 the bytes have been uh, 15863 the latency time this is nothing but a time uh, when the first byte is received you fire a request to the server the server sends in the first byte and uh, this is just the starting of the response so th uh, that's what that means the start time is indicated and the thread name the users 11 so currently we have one user uh, in the future we will see when we increase the number of users what happens So now let's look into view results tree. View results tree just gives this. So it's the home page. Here, if you notice in the response code, we have 200, and the response message is okay. If you know a little bit about HTML response codes, then 200 indicates a success message. So we have been able to successfully fire our uh, fire our trigger our home page and make request to the home page. so currently we are doing nothing but triggering request on the home page itself 
so this is our request data request has no cookies in the future we will see how to add cookies as well and this is the response data this is what we get in the response so this is all um, HTML and further details so that's all uh, for this tutorial uh, we will uh, check the further details in my next tutorial thank you bye